Hi, I'm Jill Hobbs with my next video for beginners. Today we will be learning about liner work, the third technique to produce lines within decorative painting. Liner work is mastering a small brush that we use for detailed line work, either by following a transferred line or freehand. Freehand means without pattern lines to follow. Today we need the following items from your painting kit. Zero liner brush, palette paper, water pot, DecoArt Americana acrylic paint. I'm using DA067 which is lamp black but any colour will do. Cotton rag or kitchen roll, pencil, scrap paper or card and a ruler. Once again we have the golden rule, look where you're going and not where you've been. We also have two other golden rules, one of which applies to all the brushes we will eventually use. Always ensure the ferrule, this metal bit on all brushes, is dry because a nasty water droplet can make a real mess if it drops onto your project. Wipe it off with a rag or kitchen towel. The third rule, lock your hand and wrist, relax the elbow and shoulder. Although we learn how to paint in primary school, it is unlikely that you have ever used a brush this delicate. Learning the mechanics on how to use a liner brush, what it can and cannot do, and how to control it is very much like learning to drive a car. It's not possible to pass your test after one lesson. We gradually learn how to have precise control through repetition. Practice makes perfect, which also applies to brushwork. Work along with me, starting with a pencil and white card or paper. Just for fun, hold your pencil just like you normally would, but hold it upright. It doesn't matter how you do this. You will usually have your little finger free to move around. Give it a wiggle. Place it on the card. This little finger is your stabiliser. Once your hand feels comfortable, adjust the position of your pencil. Keep it upright until it too touches the card. For the first part of this exercise, this is a second stabiliser and your balance is halfway between the two points. Both stabilising points are easy to move. They are not glued to the surface. Don't press down on them. Lock your hand and wrist. Relax your elbow and shoulder. Raise your arm off the table. You now have a robotic arm and the movement range is amazing. Keep an eye on that pencil, it stays up right, but I can move it lots and lots of ways. Because this is locked and this is relaxed. I've changed my pencil for a pen to make sure you can see what I'm doing. OK, let's doodle. Lock your hand and wrist, relax your elbow and shoulder. Start with curly cues. Write your name, big and bold. Try the alphabet. You joined up letters. Cross hatching. Stop. 
and start repeatedly. Play and literally enjoy. This method not working for you? Gosh, there are several options. Try using your other hand for support. Or hold the wrist. The movement range is a lot smaller and you will need to stop and start more often. Or use the knuckle of your finger. This will keep your hand nearer the project but the movement range is a lot bigger. Remember to lock the hand and the wrist, relax elbow and shoulder and take your arm off of the table. As always, experiment and use the method you feel most comfortable using, and this can include a mixture of all of them. I sometimes use my little finger and my hand. Now take away the pencil stabiliser and rely on your finger only for stability. The centre of balance will tilt ever so slightly. Golden rule number three. Lock your hand and wrist and relax your elbow and shoulder. That's the one. Doodle again. The pencil is still touching the card. And the line you are drawing may be fainter. Repeat the exercises. Curly cues, writing, cross hatching, stop and start. Play and enjoy. Okay, let's try with the brush. Squeeze out a puddle of paint. Not a lot. Mix some of this paint with water. We need an inky consistency. We want the paint to bleed from the brush as we paint with it, but we don't want it to drip off the end. Fully load this brush in the inky puddle. Roll the bristles in the paint, then roll back the other way. This will twist and untwist the bristles. Pull out from the puddle. and touch the tip of the brush onto the palette to remove excess paint. Try following the pencil lines. And that includes a golden rule. Look where you're going, not where you've been. Another repeat on the tracing and transferring techniques. Mm -hmm. 
As you progress along your painting journey, your confidence and ability to control your brushes will enable you to follow intermediate techniques. But first, we learn the basics. Have fun with paint and a brush. Remember the three golden rules. Number one, look where you're going, not where you've been. Number two, keep the ferrule dry. Number three, keep the hand and wrist locked, the elbow and shoulder relaxed. And for extremely fine liner work, keep that handle upright and just tickle the surface. Until next time, where we will start painting on actual projects. Happy painting! Give it a wiggle. Place it on the card. Sorry. Give it a wiggle. I'll wiggle you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Once your hand feels comfortable, adjust the piz... The piz... Once your hand feels comfortable, <laughs> it gets brushed, doesn't it? Comfortable. <laughs> Once your hand feels comfortable. <coughs> Why does that word sound so funny? <laughs> I can't know. It's because I've got the giggles of it. <laughs> As always, experiment and use the method you feel most comfortable using. It's a horrible word to say. It is. Gosh, Tina. She goes her to die. Go on down by the beach, you lot. Clear off. <laughs> I sometimes use my little finger and the hub. And the what? <laughs> and the other hand. I sometimes use my little finger and my other hand. <laughs> now take away the tensor stabilis stabilis. stabilis. <laughs> I really Golden rule. Lock your wrist and your something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. Can you hear the movement upstairs? I oh, assume so. And that line was shocking. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> I can't show anybody up, can I? <laughs> I was concentrating on that on stage, not yeah. to, on my line. That's really my excuse, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> right, concentrate, girl. <laughs>